Hey guys, it's Catherine. Today I'm going to be showing you a holiday glam makeup tutorial. First of all, I'm sorry if I sound a little stuffy. I woke up sick today, but I really wanted to film this video and get it out to you guys. Second of all, you can customize this glam look according to what you're comfortable with or what makeup products you do have. So this is very easy to recreate because I myself am not a professional makeup artist. I like I'm pretty average with makeup, you know, so this is really easy for those of you who are trying to experiment with makeup and want to try to do new looks. This is the first video of my holiday series, so I'm really excited. Please subscribe if you're not already because more holiday videos are coming out very, very, very soon. And yeah, that's it. So if you want to recreate this look, keep watching. Alright, so I'm just going to start off with a freshly washed face and I just put some cream on my face also. And now I'm just going to put a lip balm to prep my lips because we will be putting lipstick. So I'm starting out with the Porefessional by Benefit and priming my face. Next, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Foundation, so it's just the stick, and I'm in the shade 110 Porcelain, which is probably the lightest shade because I'm fair. So I'm just going to do strokes all over my cheeks, my nose, and my forehead. I'm just going to be taking this flat top brush and buffing in the foundation. Next I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light 10. So it's just a stick and I'm going to conceal any blemishes I have. And I'm just going to be taking a wet beauty blender and blending it up. Next, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind uh, Under Eye Concealer in the shade 210 Fair, and I'm just going to be putting it under my eyes in a triangle like, like this. And again, I'm going to take a wet beauty blender and blend that out. I'm also going to be putting it down the bridge of my nose, a bit on my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin just to highlight even though the shade is not much of a highlighter on my skin, but I still like the look of it. Now to set all of this, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Powder, it's in the shade 100, and just putting it all over my face with a big fluffy brush. Now that I've set everything in place, I'm going to start with my eyebrows. Now, side note, I have to do my eyebrows, so there may be hairs growing everywhere, but whatever, we're going to work with what we have. So I'm just going to start by brushing them out, and then I'm using the Maybelline Brow Define and Fill Duo by iStudio in the shade Deep Brown. So it just looks like this. On one side, you have the brow crayon. Oh my god, my voice. And on the other side, you have like this sponge thing that distributes the color to fill them in. So I'm going to be using the pencil first and I'm just gonna outline the shape of my brows. Next, I'm going to take the sponge side and just fill everything in. And now to make sure they stay in place, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Transparent Gel thing 
and it turned brown because I've been using it for my eyebrows for with this product you have to make sure <coughs> whoa you gotta make sure that you take off the extra product because all the gel comes off of this brush and you don't want to add clumps of gel to your eyebrows so I'm just scraping it off then I'm just gonna like air dry it a little because it's very wet and then I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows Alright, so I've zoomed in on my eyes now because we're going to start with the eyes. So the first thing I'm doing is taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm just going to put that all over my lids so that the eyeshadow stays. I'm just going to add some product and then I'm going to blend it out with my ring finger. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this cream eyeshadow palette from Topshop and I'm going to be using the gold shade. Then I'm just going to take this eyeshadow brush and put some product on it and apply it to my lids. So this is just going to help the eyeshadow stay in place because we will be doing a gold kind of smoky eye. Next, I'm going to be taking my Lorac Pro Palette. I'm going to be taking the shade Gold and applying it to my lids on top of the Gold Cream Eyeshadow. So this is just going to give it, give the Gold Eye more emphasis and it's going to pop more. Next, I'm just going to take a fluffier brush and take the color Taupe and apply it in my outer corner and in my crease. So this is just going to add depth to the crease. So I'm just going to drag the taupe color a little bit into the lid so that it's easier and it looks nicer to blend. Next I'm just going to add the color espresso to the corners of my eye and drag it a little bit into the crease as well to give it again more depth just going to be taking this pointed brush, I don't know what it's called, and I'm just going to create like a V to kind of outline my eye, and again I'm just going to drag it a little bit in. Now we're going to blend everything out to get rid of any harsh lines, so I'm going to take this fluffy brush and just start blending. Next, I'm just going to be taking the nude color and applying it to the inner corners of my eye and under my brow bone to highlight. So I'm just going to be taking this brush, again I don't know what type of brush this would be, but And I'm just going to blend it kind of down, give the rest of the lid a highlight as well. And I'm just going to blend that out so it's not like bam in your face. Next, I'm going to go back in with the gold and just add it to the middle once again because it faded away with blending. And I'm going to take the espresso color and just try to drag it down on the lower lash line. And I'm not going to do the entire lash line, I'm just going to go about halfway, three quarters of the way. Next, I'm going to take the black color and just outline my liner before I go in with a liquid liner. Just to make sure I don't mess up. And by doing this, I could just follow the line that makes it easier. So just like that. Next, I'm going to go in with my Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen. 
and it's just like, if I can open it, like a felt tip. And I'm just gonna apply eyeliner and I'm gonna do a small wing. Hopefully it's gonna end up small. And then you look at it and you're like, they're not even, but oh well. Too much time and effort to redo them. So I'm just gonna go in with a black pencil liner and this one is from Avon and it's in the shade G04. And I'm just gonna apply it to my upper waterline. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Just like that. And I'm gonna wait till my eye stops crying. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye. And I'm actually not gonna apply it to my lower lash line because I find with small eyes, if you add more liner to the bottom, it's just gonna make your eyes even smaller. And um, I often find when I do put it on the bottom, it leaks off and then I have all eyeliner under my lash, lower lashes. So I just don't bother. Next, we're going to go in with an eyelash curler and just curl your lashes and just add any mascara you want. I'm going to be using the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express and you just add your mascara. I just realized how many Maybelline products I have. I guess it's my favorite drugstore company. Okay, continuing with the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder, and it's in the shade 720A Sunny. Because I am very light skinned, I'm literally just going to tap it, blow off the excess product, and then apply it. And now applying the rest of the bronzer to my face, I'm just going to take this angled fluffier brush and just apply it on my temples, blend out this, the cheeks and everything. Next, I'm going to be taking my go-to blush, which, which is the Benefit Dandelion. And that's the packaging and it's just this really pretty light pink color and I'm just gonna apply that to the apples of my cheeks with this Real Techniques blush brush what I like about this blush is that it adds kinda like a natural glow to your cheeks and it's not too harsh so you can wear it in every season. The last step is adding red lipstick. Because it is because it is a holidays makeup tutorial, I think red is a perfect color because of Christmas and just when I think of the holidays, I think of the red and gold. So that's what we're going with. So I'm just going to zoom in to my lips. All right. So I'm going to be using uh, lip liner by NYX in the shade red and this is a waterproof lip liner which I did not know until now so I'm just gonna be using that and I'm just gonna line my lips so because I have really big lips well I don't have really big lips but they're like big and weirdly shaped sometimes I don't apply my liner properly or like the lipstick messes up so sorry if that happens And the lipstick I'm going to be using is Max Diva, which is this really deep wine red. I actually featured this color in my top 5 favorite fall lipsticks video, so you should go check that out. Ugh. This is what happens. The last thing I'm going to do is kind of take a concealer and just outline my lips because I did get some lipstick around my lips and I don't want red to show. So I'm just going to be taking a q-tip and just outlining it. 
And I'm just going to be going in with this brush again and kind of setting the concealer with my translucent powder. So I hope you liked my holiday glam makeup look. As I said before, it's very easy to recreate and you can customize it according to what you're comfortable with. Please like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Comment down below what other holiday vi videos you're looking forward to and that's it. I'll see you guys next video. Bye! It's a very light scented candle so if you want to...